Hello there, I thought I would share with you my very old and worn out as you can see pocket organiser and this one was from Sharps. It's a clamshell design pocket organiser that is powered by two AA batteries. You can uh, add programs to it from the computer, you can download them from the website or you can write your own on the PC and download them to it. Okay. So I'll just show you what we've got. Okay, so this is what is on it. It's a liquid crystal display. It's not touchscreen. It uh, has a full keyboard, uh, three megabytes of uh, memory, and it's powered by a Z80 processor. So this is the Sharps ZQ770. So you have the usual pocket organizer things, calendar, schedule, birthdays, to-do list, telephones, memo, calculator conversions and what else have we got in here clock uh, sound well the sound is just literally a beat noise and owner's information startup display memory contrast and so on so memory i've got quite a bit in this but as you can see there's hardly half of it used okay and you can probably see the reason why i'm demonstrating it is some of the uh, vertical lines are failing so the display is not quite right so so calendar let's get into that okay so 2004 July let's just pick a date shall we 15th what was I doing on the 15th working with Bob okay uh, Working on oh, gallery, Ashley's job sale. So yeah, anything I was doing, I'd keep a memo of it. Okay, so what else have we got in the main menu? Schedules, birthdays, to-do list, telephone numbers, calculator. Okay, so the calculator function is like that. We all know calculators work. But the main function of this is, uh, for me, is not just the organizer stuff, but programs that you could add to it and you could download them off the uh, Sharps website and this was called the My Wizard. So the first program we can see there is called Wizardworm. I'm not sure who wrote this program but basically it's a snake game. Uh, so I'll, I'll just give you a quick demonstration of that. Hopefully it'll still stay on screen. Okay. Play again, yes. Play. There we go. And the object of the game was just to pick up the different objects and your snake will get longer as you do it. Anyway, I think that's enough of that. But at least you can demonstrate the other issue was obviously the screen refresh rate wasn't that great either, but it, it was meant to be a pocket organiser. Okay, right, let's quit out of that. Okay, um, play again, no. Okay, so there's all the programs I've got in there. You could store 10 programs. So we've got my edit, which is an editor program. Okay. Show what I've got in there, different things in there. Uh, guard tech instructions, websites. So, look at the guard tech. So, that was an alarm panel that we used to work on. Again, you can probably see some of the vertical lines coming and going on that as it is. So, that's basically a copy of the instruction manual book can't read it very well at the moment. Okay, what else have we got in there? Oh, where do I see? There we go. Galaxy Lib. So for the Galaxy Alarm Panel had a library of codes. So I've written them all in here, what where the parameters are and what they are. So, 
And rather than carrying the manual about, I could carry this about. So if I wanted the word bedroom, I would know I could type in the word numbers 037 will get bedroom. I'd play 0334. So you needed a library, you need to know all the numbers. Uh, that wasn't very good, so I've written my own program to help with that. And let's show you that. Okay, so here we go. Galaxy 6 Day, a programming aid by Stephen Jones, which is me. One for zone configuration and enter to clear the screen. I've pressed one. It tells me all the different terminology of what the screen zones are. If I press enter, it will clear the screen. Now, another way of putting uh, text on the alarm panel was to just type two digit numbers and that would reference a letter trying to remember all the letters near impossible however I did manage it with this after doing this so for instance if I want the word PIR which stands for passive infrared I press the letter P tells me it's number 33 press the letter I tells me it's 23 press the letter R 35 so in order to put the word in text it would, I would just have to enter 33, 23, 35. Okay, if I wanted the word room, letter R, O, O, and M. So to put the word room in, all I would have to type in 35, 31, 31, 27. Failing that, the only other way of uh, entering text was either via a laptop, or using the arrow keys to go left, left, left until you got to the letter that you want. Press enter and then right, right, right if you need to go back. So that was quite a pain. And this was actually quite helpful for me as I could just type the word in using the keyboard. And that'll give me the numbers, tell me what I need to type in. And this was much quicker. This helped me memorize all the letters with the appropriate numbers. So it helped me program the alarm panel a lot quicker. So that was useful for me. That helped me out. A great deal. Um, let's have a look. So there were other games you could get for it. So Tetris. Let's go for Tetris. Everyone knows Tetris. Now the screen on this one. The programmer had it so you have to turn it around the other way. But there you go. I'm not going to spend too long on this because it's just to show you the thing and you can see that, that some of the vertical lines are not so good. one line oh, you get the idea anyway yeah you can get programs on it spend the time when you're not supposed to be working there we go so yeah there it is Sharps pocket organizer So I don't know how much longer this display is going to last, but at least you've got to see it before it dies completely. Okay, pa password. 